Hello, welcome. This is Kenshin1913, and we are let's doing. We are starting a brand new let's play. This game is a sequel to the game I just played, Gabriel Knight. This one is a little bit different, though. It's still in the same vein, but it's Gabriel Knight 2. I want to thank those people who worked tirelessly to get this to work. Uh, in this in this uh, game, but yeah, it's called Gabriel Knight 2, the of uh, the Beast Within, or the Gabriel Knight Mystery, just whatever the hell you want to call. It. I'm just gonna call it Gabriel Knight 2, the Beast Within, or a Beast Within, or whatever. Anyways, this game is another classic point and click game, unlike the last game where it was, uh, where it was uh, you know animated pixels and all that. This one is actually FMV all the way through, like actual human actors. Now, I know back in the day, this used to be a, a uh, like a, um, how do you explain it? Like, very modern and everything. Like, they're like, oh, yeah, after this, we're going to get real humans. Well, for the most part, some of those uh, those games where they had the actual human actors in it kind of were kind of crappy. But this one actually was uh, very good. It definitely was one of the pinnacles of the uh, full motion video games. Anyways, let's let's watch the uh, prologue, shall we? Come. Frankenstein. <clears throat> so yeah, that that uh, part there will actually make sense when we uh, when we get to it. But yeah, this game is uh, going to be Gabriel. He's pretty much uh, looking to take up the mantle of Schottenjäger from uh, Wolfgang. This pretty much takes place maybe a couple months after the first game. And uh, yeah, he's in Germany, and we're going to be doing a new mystery. So let's start the game. And I believe there are six chapters in this game. And one thing I'm going to do is probably keep it at whatever aspect ratio it is uh, for for this rather than try to stretch it out to fill the screen. Just do the fact that um the, the yeah like the little videos are already pretty crazy, like digitized, and I don't want to stretch them out and make them look even weirder. more green.
so he's got his novel. He's got his Schottenjäger thing. Come in. Herr Knight. There are some people here to see you. Me? Yeah, if you please come. What's going on? You've been acting strange all day. Please, just come. And don't forget your talisman. You must wear it always. Damn thing's heavy. But it's full of mercy. Well, hello there. Shouldn't those be torches? Now, Herr Knight, I am Werner Huber. Forgive our coming here so late, but we must speak with you. What can I do for you? Oh, this is my cousin, Sir Huber Sepp. He has a farm just outside of Munich. <laughs> I will tell you the truth, Herr Knight. We have come for the Schattenjäger. I see. What makes you think you need a Schattenjäger? It is because of Sepp here. Two nights ago, his wife goes to the window of the house to call in their daughter, Tony. It is getting dark. The light outside is not so good, yeah? She sees Tony some meters away playing at the grass, and she sees a wolf. It is huge, and it is moving towards the child. The Mulda screams to the child of warning. Five! And that is when the beast strikes. Sony! Some, they say she died quickly. Sepp here hears his wife screaming, comes running from the barn. He sees the wolf, goes inside the house to get a gun, but when he comes out, no wolf. And it has taken part of the child with it. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah, it is very bad, Herr Knight. That is why we come to you. Uh, haven't the police been notified? Well, yeah, naturally. The police, they think it is wolves escaped from a zoo. They search and search, but they find nothing. This is not the first such killing. But if it is not stopped, it will not be the last. Uh, I'm not really sure. What do you want me to do? The killer is not wolf. It is fair wolf. You must hunt it down and kill it. Werewolf? What makes you think it's a werewolf? The wolf looked at me. Its eyes were human. It knew what it was doing. It knew. I'm really very sorry about your daughter, Herr Huber. I have told them that you are the new Schattenjäger. You were the talisman. Are you the Schattenjäger now, or are you not? I am. We do not know you, Herr Knight, but we have known the Schattenjägers for many centuries. It is to them we turn in trouble like this. Sepp here is family. Will you come? Just look around, see what you can see. Huh? Sepp and his wife go north to be with her mother. You can stay on his farm. All right. I'll look into it for you. See what I can see. I'll pack your things. Great. Thanks. 
I'll meet you in the village in an hour. Oh, thank you, Herr Knight. Thank you. Hmm. Yep, so Gabriel's on another journey, searching about supposed werewolves. <clears throat> you know, considering this guy, Dean Erickson here, is not Tim Curry, I believe he does a terrific job. In this game so let's go over our menu so we have our items which Gabriel has a fanny pack which is kind of interesting we have our thing here which we can click on that will show us all the movies as we go through and there's various things and then we have tapes here now interestingly enough unlike before this tape player you can actually uh, splice certain things as you interview different people, you'll be able to use um, certain clips of people saying things and maybe be able to manipulate them. Similar to Kevin in Home Alone. If you click over here, you have your save, your load, your play, your about, your big movie. Yes. Pretty much it's going to be about Ludwig of Bavaria. Okay, apparently you don't want to click on about, so... Let's actually save our game. I'm going to call this Gabriel Knight 2. <coughs> Excuse me, Dash. I'm just going to call it A, I guess. Anyways, you can make the detail. Let me get the detail up more. See if that helps. Make it a little nicer looking. <coughs> Alright, get out. Let's save it. I don't know if it made it better. <coughs> Excuse me about this cough. I apologize for this. But anyways, how the hell do I get out of here? All right. So anyways, so you have your save stuff. So let's look at some of the, these things here. This is pretty much uh, Gabriel Knight's. Uh, the Gabriel Knight's second second uh, book he's talking brilliant about. prose if I do say so myself unfortunately I'm just pissing the wind until I can think of a plot line maybe this case will inspire me true and and for the most part every, anything that has like a little dagger is pretty much things that you can interact with in this in the in the room so let's keep looking at other things my notebook he's got a notebook He's got his dual cassette player. My new tape recorder. A dual mount. Yeah, it's pretty cool. A little too tasteful, if you ask me. Same Gracie tool. ordered them. Yeah, they look nice, although it's kind of interesting you got Sloss Ritter on there. Yeah, we'll meet Gracie as well. In this game, you get to play as both Grabiel and Grace. The Family Talisman. Wolfgang gave up his life to get this back. Yes, he did. So anyways... That's me, Gabriel Knight. So let's start by looking... China. Our homie. Let's start by looking... There's Christ. I take it the Hube is a Catholic. So yeah, they've simplified the gameplay a little bit. Which I, I'm all, I'm not right with, I guess, but... So we have ourselves a knife. Let's take that knife. Let's take the letter and whatever else is in there. Money. Yeah, ever since Gabriel wrote the book, uh, the 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 shot in the, or the uh, Ritters have actually come into quite a bit of money. A shot in Yeager knife. All right, let's see what else we got. Yeah, I gotta keep remembering to hit exit. Uh, my Gabriel's wallet. Let's we can look at it, I guess. My wallet. It actually has money in it these days. Yeah, because now, you know, they reversed their fortune. They've been making some money. 
Let's read this thing. Gabriel, I've just notified the Catholic Church about a miracle. Things have actually been picking up around the shop. We've been going through stock like, well, like a real store. I keep expecting the candid camera guys to pop out at any moment and say, just kidding. In other acts of universal randomness, the Voodoo Murders is up to number 20 on the New York Times bestseller list. Yes, the taste of the American public can be a terrifying thing. In any case, your U.S. bank account is blossoming, not unlike the desert after a fluke storm. Okay. If you don't mind, I'd like to use a little of the money to fix up the shop. Your gran is fine, but misses you. Mosley has been hanging around, making himself a real pain in the butt. Fortunately, I need only bring up the bald detective mostly in your book, all 240 pounds of him, and your pal turns red and is out the door in about five seconds. Things are organized here. Just waiting for your decision. I think you can find a buyer if you want to go that route. I know you hate to write, but I need to get a feeling for what your plans are so I can make some of my own. I haven't seen or heard of anything here that seems relevant to this Schottenegger business. Take care. Grace. So there we go. We got Grace. We got a letter from Grace, and then we have this letter, which is the... <coughs> I don't know. Umber, Umberhaukers? Whatever. It's from the Ritter family lawyers. Pretty much telling them that we can go over... Pretty much, uh... Yeah, uh, I get like the Ritters, I guess, got more money after this whole thing. Their their fortunes have been changed. Because if you remember in the last game, the, the, the uh, they were missing some, uh, yeah, there's nothing. I don't need anything else right now. They were missing some, uh, money. They <coughs> excuse me. Anyways, we go. I don't think the Ubers want me in their private bedrooms. Well, you can check it out. I mean. <coughs> Nothing wrong with that. Better let Gracie know I'm on a new case. Dear Gracie, you're going, you're going to be a real bitch in this game. At least for one part. And yeah, you have the score up there. You can click the skip if you want, but... Honestly, in this game, I think I'll have more of a chance to actually talk than in the last game where I felt like I was just, uh-huh, mm -hmm. and then occasionally I'd make a few comments. But yeah, this game is probably one of the best version, one of the best uh, of these games where it's like, you get, uh, you get like, uh, these actors. Dean Erickson is really good, even though he's no Tim Curry, he does really make Gabriel... Uh, you know, part of himself kind of like gives him a new kind of thing. I can't read much of it, but they give the name of the zoo. It's in Thalkirken. The name of the detective on the case is Lieber from the police station near Prinzer Jentenplatz. Yep, so there's the uh, guy there and the, the wolves there, maybe. Alright, so let's see what's here. Who should I call? Nobody at the moment. But if we look over here, Air Knight, the keys to the car by the door. It's better not to drive inside Munich. Park the car. Air Knight, the keys to the car by the door. It is better not to drive inside Munich. Drive road 96 to Lockham. Park the car and take the U bond from there. Thank you for helping us. Carl Yuba. Alright, so there you go. Now we need to get them keys. Which is right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, right. so you're probably getting sick of the, uh, the whole clicking on the clock there, so let's take it. I mean, let's leave, is what I'm trying to say. All right, so now we're outside. So let's head this way, shall we? What the hell over here? And let's look over here. What is over here? A 
Look at this paw print, huh? Jesus. It's as big as my hand. So yeah, we got a giant paw print. Maybe we can figure out some way to get like a, I don't know, a freaking molding of it maybe? I don't know. Anyways, let's head up here. And if we look around here, I believe there might be some gray hair or something. Yeah. Maybe he's a balding wolf. He or she is a balding wolf, not. <coughs> Just looks like reddish hair to me. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, I wanted to start this game because I really love it. This was probably the uh, last game that I played, like, computer-based uh, point-and-click. Not, not that it was uh, bad, but, like, the third Gabriel Knight, I gotta admit, I never truly finished the whole thing. So yeah, we have cement here. I could be wrong, but I think this bag contains cement. Yeah, maybe we should take it. But yeah, they did a good job of having some ambiance sounds and all that good stuff, too. Alright, let's pour this over here. <coughs> On the paw print. We'll make ourselves a cast or a mold or whatever they call it. It'll take a minute to set. So yeah, this guy has like a... He has like a southern accent. I know he's got reddish hair and, you know, it's not blonde like in the, <clears throat> in the original one. But that's alright. I think he gives him a different... I think he gives Gabriel a different flair. Like, he's not as... As cheesy as as the other guy as Tim Curry was as him. Not not that Tim Curry was bad, but like I said, I, I think he gives him his own flair. But the the lady who plays Grace, whew, I like her too. But man, she can be kind of nasty. Just wait till you meet her. Unfortunately, there is no there is no Detective Mosley in this game. He is going to stay home in New Orleans. <clears throat> so now we have a paw print. It's huge. I wish I knew if it were normal or not. Yeah, maybe we can find out by going to the zoo. So now we gotta get the keys and use them on the car. Yeah, and you'll know you're doing something right, right when it turns when the item that you're gonna use on something, or <clears throat> that you can use it on whatever. If if, if the white if the item turns white. Well. Yeah, I believe Volkswagens, uh, or at least in Germany, they do drive on the same side of the road we drive on. Alright, so now, interestingly enough, we can actually head, we can actually get a hint, in case you don't know where the hell you're going. And the blinking tasks are where, what you're left to do. Um, I forget what the hell they said the, the zoo was, so let's head here. 
Okay, I was right. Whew. But yeah, similar to the, um, the, um, Gabriel Knight 1 where you learned a little bit about Marie Laveau and the history of voodoo and all that. In this game, we're going to learn a, a lot about the German, uh, king. I believe his name's Ludwig. The second. Alright, so that guy fed the wolves. But I'm actually going to stop the video here. And hopefully I'll get a little bit better before I start the next episode. So, uh, I've been Kenshin1913. And I will see you in the next episode where we will explore the zoo. Bye-bye.